Hello there, and welcome to the Pets of Plenty channel. Making a selection between a Belgian Shepherd and a German Shepherd can be pretty challenging, as both dog breeds are outstanding in their unique ways. We understand this challenge, so don't worry, because, as usual, we have you covered here on Pets of Plenty. Today on the channel, we've gathered all the helpful information about these breeds to help you make an informed decision. So, stay tuned to the end as the Belgian Shepherd and the German Shepherd battle for their differences and similarities. Before we go further, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. All right, here we go. The Belgian Shepherd versus the German Shepherd. Let's start the fight. Round 1. Dog Breed History Belgian Shepherd dogs have been known for herding since the Middle Ages. Their breeding was based on usefulness during this time. Local breeding made them similar. In the 1890s, a Belgian veterinary school professor compiled guidelines for the Belgian Sheepdogs. He recommended breeding them as separate breeds. The Belgian Shepherd, collectively known as Chien de Berger Belg, is the only breed with four varieties. Eight types existed before, but now there are four. The only difference was the coat. Malines, Tervuren, Gronendal, and Laken are their Belgian hometowns. Malinois was the first Belgian Shepherd dog to develop a distinct look. The breed was also the first to gain popularity. German Shepherd dogs descend from German herding dogs that varied by the district until the late 19th century. Captain Max von Stefanitz, a German cavalry officer, developed the ideal German herder in the late 1800s. Von Stefanitz and others crossed northern and central German strains to create the German Shepherd dog. Von Stefanitz co-founded the first GSD club and spent 35 years promoting the breed. It's easy to forget that the GSD was initially bred to herd sheep given the breed's versatility. The GSD's now famous qualities like intelligence, agility, speed, stealth, and authority were forged in the sheep pasture. Rin Tin Tin and Strongheart popularized GSDs in the early 1900s. The GSD and Dachshund were anti-German during and after the World Wars. In World War I, Britain, the breed was actually called the Alsatian, a name many Brits still use. Von Stefanitz shrewdly promoted his breed as an ideal canine worker as modern livestock management declined. Globally, police and military units prefer the GSD. Both dog breeds have their history dating back to the Middle Ages and are herding dogs, so they deserve to have one point each for this round. Round 2. Physical Appearance Belgian Shepherds have endurance-built bodies with long-haired, short-haired, and coarse-haired coat types. The breed is robust but not too heavy. They have a straight top line and a non-sighthound-like belly, long, slender head with triangular, erect ears, and a long, thin, well-balanced nose. The breed has a deep but not too broad chest, a muscular neck that broadens at the shoulders, and a powerful, medium-length tail that bends slightly at the knee. Therefore, legs are straight, and their rear legs are solid and robust. Males are 22 to 26 inches tall, while females are just 1.6 inches shorter. They weigh between 44 and 66 pounds. On the other hand, the German Shepherd dogs may stand up to 26 inches tall at the shoulder and, when seen from the side, give a picture of smooth, flowing curves rather than angles. The typical gait is a loose trot, but they may kick it up a notch and achieve tremendous speeds. Amazingly, they both stand at the same height with the same body built. So, for this round, they both get one point each. So, it's two points for the Belgian Shepherd and two for the German Shepherd. Round 3. Temperament All four Belgian Shepherd breeds are intelligent, alert, and sensitive, trainable, lovable, attentive, and hardworking. They have a natural instinct to guard property and family. The Gronendal and Tervuren variants are sometimes aggressive, making them poor children's pets. The Lake and Wa variant is excellent with kids, but may be aggressive with other dogs. The breed is energetic, especially the Malinois, due to its ongoing breeding for security tasks and they all need exercise. Belgian Shepherd Shepherds thrive indoors and out. The breed adapts well to home life, though the Malinois is an exception. They can live indoors, but he needs a gated yard to keep him from chasing bikes, joggers, and cars. 
German Shepherds are considered canine royalty. Their distinguishing characteristic is character, loyalty, bravery, confidence, and the capacity to understand orders for a variety of duties. German Shepherds are compassionate family dogs and staunch guards. The breed has the readiness to put their life on the line in defense of loved ones. However, there is a certain aloofness that does not lend itself to instant and indiscriminate attachments, according to the breed standard. Both dog breeds have a fantastic temperament. However, the German Shepherd takes the point for this one for being an excellent family dog that loves children. So here we have it, three points for the German and two for the Belgian. Round 4 – Socialization a Belgian Shepherd is usually warm and outgoing. He demands time and attention from his friends and family. He requires cerebral stimulation via games like Buster Cubes and Fetches. Puppy Kindergarten is a good beginning step. Pet-friendly places and walks may help him socialize. Puppies with beautiful temperaments are usually social, energetic, and eager to be handled. Socialization helps your Belgian Shepherd puppy grow up well-rounded. A well-trained German Shepherd, particularly a puppy, is a terrific child's friend. Some claim they're a mix between a babysitter and a policeman, as the breed is compassionate and protective of their children. They're not too friendly to strangers, but they're trustworthy. The German Shepherd may live happily with other dogs and pets if educated from puppyhood. Introducing an adult German Shepherd to a home with other dogs or cats may be tricky. We're now at the end of this round, and one point goes to both breeds for being an all-round canine in terms of socialization. So, we have four points for the German and three for the Belgian. Round 5 – Training and Exercise Training and agility are almost as important as your dog's diet. A dog that is not sufficiently exercised will feel frustrated and is more prone to exhibit negative behaviors. Your Belgian Shepherd needs at least an hour of physical activity per day split into two or three sessions. If possible, let your Belgian Shepherd off-leash in an enclosed area. Half-mile walks are ideal. Once he's a year old, you can jog with your Belgian Sheepdog puppy but limit the distance to under a mile and give him frequent breaks. Avoid concrete. Increasing activity will protect his growing bones and joints. Puppy school once or twice a week for nine to four month old puppies provides exercise, training, and socialization plus 15 to 20 minutes of yard play. The German Shepherd, a highly energetic and athletic breed, demands a lot of exercise for both physical and mental well-being. Canine hobbies such as agility, herding, tracking, and dock diving give good physical and mental exercise while also being enjoyable and gratifying for both dog and owner. You may begin with short daily walks and play sessions in a secure environment with a puppy. We give them one point each for this round as both dog breeds need exercise and training from the puppy stage to become well-rounded dogs. We're now at five points for the German and four for the Belgian. Round six, grooming. Belgian Shepherds shed all year round with at least one heavy shed depending on temperature and coat length. Grooming your dog for 15 to 20 minutes weekly will remove dead hair and prevent mats. This routine will also reduce flying hair. To support the process, brush for a minute or two daily. Use a grooming rake to remove shedding hairs and a mat comb to remove mats behind the ears or where the legs connect. The German Shepherd dog has a double coat that is medium in length and consists of a dead dense, harsh, and close-lying outer coat and a softer undercoat. The breed is simple to care for, requiring only a quick brushing every few days to remove loose hairs, but they shed more heavily once or twice a year. More frequent brushing will help control the amount of hair that ends up around the house and on the furniture during these times. The German Shepherd only requires a bath on occasion. They both need frequent grooming to thrive. However, it's easier to groom the German Shepherd. For this reason, the point for this round goes to him. That brings us to six points for the Germans and four for the Belgians. Round 7 – Nutrition 
the Belgian Shepherd should be fine with quality commercial or homemade dog food. Not all human foods are safe for your Belgian Shepherd, so learn which ones are. Experts can tailor a dog's diet to its age and size, whether a puppy, adult, or senior. A high-quality puppy, adult, or senior dog food contains all the nutrients that German Shepherd requires. Some human foods are safe for this breed and some are not. Table scraps might trigger gastric distress, avoid cooked bones, and high-fat meals. Adding small amounts of yogurt, cooked vegetables, or eggs to high-quality food can benefit. Overfeeding treats can lead to obesity in both breeds, so consult a vet if you're worried about your dog's weight or nutrition. Their nutritional values are pretty much the same, so it's one point for both. That's seven points for the German and five for the Belgian. Round 8. Health Belgian Shepherds are healthy canines, although they are prone to specific health issues such as skin allergies, eye problems, and dysplasia. A reliable breeder can show you your puppy's health clearance when buying one. Health clearances show that a dog has been checked for a specific disease. The same applies to German Shepherds. They're healthy canines, though they are prone to particular health issues such as degenerative myelopathy, bloating, and elbow and hip dysplasia. Reputable breeders examine their breeding stock for these health issues. These breeds are fantastic for being healthy. However, no point goes to them in this round for being prone to certain illnesses. It looks like we have a winner, everyone. The German Shepherd takes it home today. In conclusion, every human has a choice. It's vital to consider your personal needs and environment during adoption. Both dog breeds can work excellently as a pet or companions. This is simply our evaluation. Remember, yours may be different. In addition, before adopting a dog, do well to seek professional advice from the breeder and your veterinarian. What are your thoughts on today's contest? Let us know in the comments section. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting pets videos. Thank you for watching.